In this video, we're going to work on writing an inequality from a graph, and then in words, describing all of the values of x that make that inequality true. So we're going to do four examples today. So here we look at our first example, letter A, and here we see that we have a closed circle, right? Closed. So when we have a closed circle, that tells us that our answer is either going to be a greater than or equal to, or a less than or equal to. Let's go ahead and let's kind of review those symbols to make sure that we remember what we're doing, what we're talking about. Our greater than symbol looks like that. Our less than symbol looks like a sideways L. Our greater than or equal to symbol will look like this with a line underneath it. So it looks like the greater than symbol, but with a line under it. And our less than or equal to symbol, again, looks like that sideways L with a line underneath it. So when we have these symbols right here, those will be our closed circles. And these symbols here will be our open circles. So we're going to start off with our letter A, so we're going to be using, let's use x for our variable, and we're using x because it told us to use x for our variable. So we'll use x, and then we'll use the number, which is the number 1. So we want to know, should it be greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to? Well, when we have our variable on the left-hand side, that means that our symbol will point in the direction of the line. So here we see that because our variable is on the left and our line is pointing that direction, that means so will our symbol. Now remember, because our circle is closed in, we should have a line under it. So here we have x is greater than or equal to 1. And in words, that's going to be all real numbers. one or larger. That would be one way that we could describe that. Let's look at letter B. So here, we're still going to use our x, and we're still going to have the number one, since our circle is at the number one, and our line is still pointing to the right, so we're still going to have it open, but it's an open circle, so there won't be any line under it. So here we could describe this as x is at least 1. And we're using that word there, at least. It means it'll be 1 or larger. Oh, but that's a problem because it can't be 1. So x is larger or greater than 1. We could have used the word at least for our first one. Let's take a look at our third example, letter C. So we're going to use our x again, and our circle is still at the number 1, so we're using the number 1. Our variable is on the left, and we see that our arrow this time is pointing to the left. So our symbol will point that direction also. Now we need to decide, was our circle open or was it closed? And here we can see that it was a closed circle. So it should have a line under it. So when we go to write this in words, we might say x is at most 1. Because at most tells us that 1 is the largest number that it could be. Let's try letter D. So we're still going to have our x. And we're still going to have the number 1. Our variable is still on the left-hand side. So we need to figure out which direction our arrow is pointing. And here we see that it's pointing to the left. So our symbol will also point to the left. So now when we look at our circle, we see that it is open. So there won't be a line underneath it. 
So if we were to write this in words, we might say x is less than 1.